Hello, hello, hello there everyone. Alex here with Luxat Games here for round four of the Pioneer PTQ. Let's see what we can do. We lost the die roll. Is this the first one we've lost? Well, we're keeping this one. Yep. See what the opponent's playing. Uh oh, this looks like mono black. That's night market lookout. All right, let's draw and then we'll watch. Well, we're gonna have every land we need, that's for sure. Forest is a great start because it's painless, so let's start on Forest. The reason why we start on Forest is because we already have Temple Garden to reveal the Fortified Village. When we'll play Season of Growth on two. On three, we're going to play on Flinching Courage and try and run away with the game. As much as I wish I could trade here, especially since we have the second boggle, I think it's smarter not to. Yeah, you got us, opponent. All right. Fortified Village, reveal Temple Garden. Here's our Season of Growth. All right, let's get in there for our one. So there is a chance that we wanted to play around Wrinkle and not... Um, not put ourselves in a position to, okay, that's fine, um, get blown out by that by not playing the Inflinching Courage on Glade Cover Scout. Something to think about. I think at the speed our opponent's clocking us, though, I basically am very much priced into uh, Inflinching Couraging up this Glade Cover Scout. If we can dodge Rankle for one turn, uh, which, keep in mind, we have to dodge it through this loot as well. Uh, we should be in a pretty good position to start turning this corner. Once upon a time, not exactly being ideal here. Might as well take two this turn, because we're going to be using it over the next turns. Yep. Let's draw a card. Another Season of Growth. That's an interesting one. So they're going to be swinging for quite a bit next turn. But depending on our draws, we might... All it takes is one good aura to start pulling us out of this. It's fourth land. Please no rankle. That's a lot of lands. Spawn of something or another that they could have played post-combat just fine. Sweet. Take that all day long. Ah, that makes sense, okay. While they could have spectacled it post-combat, they just want to get in the damage here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Puts us dead in two, so that makes sense. All right, let's run off a couple ethereal armors here. Down to six, draw. Does this have trample? It does. Then if you have 10 or less life, well, they won't have 10 or less life. All right. All right, let's see here. Probably only gonna be able to use this once, so let's get it down. This has trample. What am I doing? What am I doing? This thing has trample. Trample and flying. All right. So post board, they're going to have thought seizes. Uh, let's see here. Do 
Rest in peace or pivoting needle or rest return to nature. These are the ones that all deal with various parts of the deck depending on what part of the deck they're playing. So hmm. all right, let's go ahead and cut to all the glitters for these and Guess that's fine. I don't feel that we want rest in pieces. Pivoting needles for copters is my consideration here, or return to nature. Probably pivoting needle, it's a little more proactive, but return to nature also handles scrappy, which I don't think is too relevant. We'd like to play first. Ten is a ley line, but unfortunately does not have a boggle. This hand does, but is susceptible to a thought seize. Unfortunately, this is the world we live in. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and play this and reveal that we already have the forest and pass the turn. Hope not to get thought seized on one. If we don't get thought seized on one, we're gonna be able to slam this Basara Tower Archer and start gearing it up. This Tower Archer will have Vigilance and First Strike, which is the super keys in this game. Please, opponent, do not thought seize us. This is the thought seize. Darn. Oh. Yeah, dodge the thought seize. Sweet. All right, well, uh, that's a bad draw, but bad timing there, Leyline. Uh, all right, here's our Basara Tower Archer. We're definitely not going to be blocking their 2 1. Ideally, we draw an untapped land. It's a little shame that that means it's Mana Confluence. All right, what are you taking from us here, opponent? Probably ethereal armor, I'd imagine. Our guy already has reach. And first strike is what really makes him powerful against Rankle. You could also take away Sentinel's Mark, which takes away Vigilance. Which makes it hard for me to pressure you while playing defense. So what you gonna take, opponent? Shows the Vigilance. All right, that seems reasonable. Plays a Night Market, gets in for two. That seems fine. All right, I'm gonna go for it because I think we want another land anyways. Untap land? Oh my God, whiff. Ow, my very soul. All right, well, we all know where this game's heading. We all know where this one's heading. That's bad. Huh. Opponents can get in here for four. See what they play post combat. Probably a spawn of mayhem, I'd assume. Okay, knight's pretty good there because it'll grow. Yep. That's just painful to draw. That's just painful to draw. All right, guys I th and gals, I believe that variants may have uh, not been on our side this game. Maybe. Maybe. I think the takedown is scrap heap. As much as I want to get this night market off the battlefield. No attacks here would just be ideal. Oh my god, this is great. Yeah, I mean, sure. Would you like to pump opponent? Pumping results. Uh, it's just down. Does not pump it, just plays a post combat copter. Alright. Alright. Here's a tap land. It's not great. Here's a Griff Spoon. Alright. 
This still gives plus three plus three, so we still can't block that one. But now if we draw the Vigilance one, we're in kind of a good position. Sentinel's Mark is the card we're looking for, I think. This is anticipated because it drains us for one. They're gonna drain us for one again here and probably just all out attack, I'd imagine. Pump the Knight. Is that just lethal? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I can block some of it to make it not lethal, I guess, but... Let's see, I'm, if I, if I, even if I block this, he gets in for... Th or they get in for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Not dead yet. But I'm really close. Yeah, this is a great attack. All right, so this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exactly lethal. So if I don't block this, I die. If I do block this, I die, because it has death touch. All right, well played, opponent. Well played. I'm just gonna fall to zero. GG, opponent. Yep. Dumpstered. All right. I feel that we probably caught the negative side of variance that game, but we had fun nonetheless. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alex with Luxat Games reminding you to smash that like button, hit that sub button, and leave a comment down below. Alex with Luxat Games wishing you an awesome day.